Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews. And if you're not new, welcome back guys. It's so great to see you. So today I am going to come at you with a video on my phone. So basically my camera that I normally film with is no longer in the home where I live. My now fiance has moved across the country and that was his camera that I've always filmed on. <laughs> News and surprise, surprise on many levels on that. And um, so yeah, I need to figure out a new filming device. I need to do that if I'm gonna continue making videos, which I really want to. So needless to say, I'm filming on my phone today, which will work fine. But I wanted to do a review of my newest bag in my collection, which is the Sammy 21. And it is by Coach. And you guys, this is such a great little bag that packs a freaking punch. I have to tell you that. Um, I want to go over some of the details and I do want to show you what I can pack in this bag to show you what will fit in this bag, which is quite a bit. And then later in the video, I do want to compare this bag to the Bandit shoulder bag because I think that this is a bag that is made very similar to the Bandit in a way. They're different, but they're similar. The materials are very much the same. So we're gonna go over the materials, what fits, and then compare it to the Bandit. So this bag, of course, is called the Sammy 21, and it's called the 21 because it's 21 centimeters across here. In inches, that's eight and a half, okay? Eight in six inches tall, six inches tall, and four inches in depth. This bag features a cute little rogue top handle. And this top handle, on this bag, I think this would be about the same size as the Rogue top handle for the Rogue 20. Um, so I have Rubies, Ruby 25s, and the handles are bigger, and I've had Rogues before. This handle is more compact, but it's very proportionate to the bag. The bag is made from the genuine um, Lux leather, and if you push open the, um, lock here it says genuine full grain leather right there so the same leather that is on the bandit bags is used to make these bags um i will say that if you are hard on your bags if you have long nails be careful using this because the bag can scratch a little easy um, I'm just pretty careful whenever I do use this, but just know this bag can do a little scratching. So you've got the beautiful side there with the um, gusset. This does expand out. I'm gonna show you on the inside, the cool thing about the inside of this bag. You do have a back slip pocket. This bag does not fit my iPhone. It can, but it is so extremely tight getting it in and out. I don't want to use it for my iPhone. I have a regular iPhone 12 with a, um, it's like a symmetry case basically, so a slim case. Here's the other side where you have a clochette with a key inside, and then you also have the hang tag here. The key does lock this little mechanism right here. However, I never do that because you can't really get this thing off the bag. It, and then you'd have to reach around and you can't reach around to lock this bag. It's kind of a weird design that they put the key clochette here because you cannot get it off the bag at all. So I think it's more for just decor, seriously. But here's my bag. I have it in the black on black. I chose the black on black because, I don't know, I just think it's so baller. Like, this is so beautiful. Yes, I'm concerned about the black copper scratching I'm con or chipping or whatever you want to call it. However, this bag's guaranteed for a year, and if it does happen, I'll take it back to Coach and they'll exchange it So or fix it or whatever. Here on the back, you do have two hooks where the strap can go. And then on the bottom, you do have four feet. So that's great. There's um, 
There is some coach branding on this bag on the hardware. However, since it's black gunmetal, you can barely see it. So it's kind of hidden, but I just feel like this bag is so classy looking and it's just so elegant. I love it so much. It comes in so many fun colors and it was tough for me to choose which color to really go with. Here's the strap. The strap is 21 and a half inches long and it is fully adjustable, detachable. And I'll show you what it looks like on the bag later. On the inside, there is one front slip pocket and then you have the main compartment, which is really big and really deep. Like I can fit my huge old hand in here and have tons of room. It's fully leather lined. You do have a back tiny slip pocket. I don't really put anything in there other than gum. Um, and that's basically it. Now on the back side of the wall here, you'll notice that there's these tabs, okay? And these tabs disconnect, like this can come out and you can secure it back in there like I just did, or you can undo it fully and then the bag expands that much more. So the more you tighten this, there's a couple adjustments. You can tighten it and actually cinch the bag a little bit further. Um, for me personally, I want as much expansion to open this bag as possible. So I just leave these totally undone like this and the bag still doesn't like over open. Does that make sense? So it doesn't fully open way too far. Um, it's absolutely be beautiful. This bag is extremely structured. So, you know, it kind of reminds me in a way, not like the Alma BB, but it reminds me a lot of that bag because where the Alma BB or the Revel bag by Coach, I find that those look small, but they really hold a lot. And honestly, you guys, this bag holds everything I need and then some. So I'm super happy. Yes, I kind of wish that this back pocket was a little bit more forgiving or if they had like a little ex extension on the back, but you know, I guess if you had a pretty tiny phone, it would fit. But I just really, really love this bag, the opening. I love this interior lining. Um, the hardware is absolutely beautiful. It's substantial. And then I'll show you what it does look like with the strap put on. And this is what it looks like with the strap put on, okay? So the strap is put on the back of the bag, which does help it lay against your body pretty easily. I am gonna stand up. Please forgive what I'm wearing. I am in athletic shorts and just a shirt. So um, I have this put on the middle setting and I am taller. I could lower it a little bit more if I wanted to, um, but really, I think it fits proportionately just fine for me. I am like a size eight and five foot eight. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily matter your body size or frame. I think a bag is a bag and I just, I'm just obsessed with this bag. I really think it's great. And I think it's a 1941 series because there is a stamp on this bag somewhere that says it's 1941. It doesn't have a 1941 hang tag on it, but it's still to me that quality that's just um, 1941. Ugh, it just, it's just amazing. Oh, they retail for $450 in the United States. I forgot to say that, sorry. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna show you what this bag can hold. Um, I'm in my Ruby right now, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And right now I'm currently using my absolutely stunning, I love this bag, my Ruby 25 inch chalk. These are like some of my favorite bags ever, my Rubies. So I've got this um, full of things on the inside. So I'm just gonna start placing things in and showing you what all can fit. So first and foremost, I wanna show you this is a phone case for an iPhone 12, I think, or 14, you know, they're all the same size, but I wanna kind of show you, trying to squeeze 
this in. I mean, you have to literally shove it hard into this. And I don't think that's really recommended. It's going to stretch out this back panel. It's just not going to work too well. So, and if your phone case has any kind of traction on it, like a silicone, then it's just not going to do, it, it's not going to pull in and out very well. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and show you. So I'm going to put the phone case on the inside, just like so. So that, that's basically where the phone is. And then I have got in my bag, I have got this Coach Peanuts catch-all. And in it, I have all my regular just things that I need, my lipsticks and my mascara, and I have some floss in there. So I will put that inside this bag like that. Fits nice down in there, and there's still plenty of room. That's a really big catch-all too. I've got my card holder, which I'm gonna stick right here in the front. I'm gonna put it in that front slip pocket where I normally love to put all my card holders. And then I have this coach card holder here for my business cards. Pop that in. I have my set of keys. Um, what else can I put in there? Do, 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 do. I don't really have much more. I'm gonna stick this battery charger inside and literally that thing even fits right there on the top. It's a big like brick. Let's see if it'll close with that inside. And it does, it locks perfectly, you guys. And it's not bulging. It's heavy because of that battery charger, but it's really, really nice. Um, it's beautiful. I would say if you have like sunglasses, they could fit in here as well with all that stuff. You could pack a small wallet. Instead of using a card holder, I think a compact wallet would still fit in here just fine. Um, yeah, I just, if you have a six key holder for sure, you know, but I, I don't think you're going to be upset about the space that this bag has to offer. Um, it's not too small. They call it the 21. Does it hold as much as a Cassie 19? I think the Cassie 19 can expand a little bit more and accordion out more. This is going to have a little bit of restriction because of the structure on it. Um, plus you can stick the Cassie 19. Well, you can stick your phone in the back of that bag in the slip pocket. So, um, so yeah, that's what it fits. Now let me show you a comparison of what this looks like side by side with the bandit real quick. I have both of the bags here that I wanted to show you next to each other. So you have the bandit shoulder bag size and then the Sammy 21. So the bandit isn't too much bigger to be quite honest the this bag's a little bit wider and it's a little bit deeper and it can hold a, it holds a close to the same amount of stuff that you can hold in this can hold in here however you can fit chunkier things in this bag because it's not so divided like a bandit is if that makes sense both awesome bags like you can't go wrong with either and owning both of them um, yeah, same Lux leather, same full grain, beautiful, smooth coach leather. I just, I just love coach bags, you guys. And I think we all are here because we are fans. And, um, so yeah, that's basically my review of this bag. I'm so sorry. Again, I really feel like this is such a low quality video because of its being on my phone and the angle. I will get back to better videos with proper equipment. <laughs> so, okay, that's it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Um, leave them in the comments down below. And that's about it, guys. I hope you all take care, and thanks again for stopping by.